Well, how do the chums? Welcome. Okay, right, so, Expedition 13 Adrift, we have the latest of patch notes from Hello of the Games. Hello, everyone. A lot has changed in a year since No Man's Sky released. There's so much we love about the game now, but there was something unique at release in how alone you felt in the universe. Going back further back, I have great memories. Early unreleased versions of No Man's Sky where there were no NPCs, no shops, no help, just you, the player, as a tiny dot lost in the infinite. For our next update, we wanted to allow players to experience an alternative universe. Brilliant. We're calling it a drift. And for the first time, players can be truly alone in No Man's Sky. We think it's a special feeling. Oh, this sounds great. This is probably already probably one of the best expeditions ever. Okay, well, let's let's uh, scroll on down and let, let's hit this. Now, I do want to mute it, though. Introducing okay. no man's sky. Sweet. Oh, look at this planet. That's pretty darn cool. I like that with the octopuses and stuff on it. Pretty lovely. Oh, and there's a giant freaking mega worm. So this is kind of how I expected the void to look. I'm not going to lie. I would have thought there would have been more pustules and organic mess everywhere, but... If they can deliver in this sort of separate universe, it gives me hope then for perhaps a universe where there is no base building perhaps, and they up the complexity of planets, maybe add in dual biomes, maybe biomes of previous year with those wavy davy snaky type things to the terrain. Yeah, renditions, renditions of previous updates, previous to like vanilla, previous like this. This is the kind of thing I was thinking of. For the void but they could also add in you know like the e3 planet and maybe some scriptedness on some of the planets fingers crossed for the future eh chums thank yes oh this looks quite cool traveler's grave and it's oh it's actually got an anomaly traveler type guy there one of the anomalies is this a future loop is it a previous loop what are we looking at here when it comes to their alternate dimension how does this fit into the lore or is it just side arc hopefully these patch notes will make make light of that people anyway let's let's scroll on down i'm gonna have to watch that with the sound on anyway okay removing other life forms means no shops no trading no shortcuts and no help providing a very different survival experience oh i would love to be able to hit this up anytime i like the alternate the alternative universe is more dangerous too with sandworms now roaming three can they hurt you though otherwise they're not all that dangerous are they and fiend eggs spreading across the planet Whoa. buildings are broken and rusted the few remaining landmarks the graves of the lost travelers oh dear me in space a new ghostly frigate beckons allowing players to recruit a piece of this lonely universe oh epic stuff Okay, cool, yeah. Let's just scroll down a bit further. Is that, that's an abandoned station. It's not the new space station models. Okay, cool, 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 cool. To help provide safe haven is a new bulky hauler starship called the Iron Vulture. Since we added ship customization in our last update, we're also seeding the game with lots of new customization options in a drift. So I think that's just in a drift. Or is that the Adrift update is now seeding these customizational parts inside of the game? Can we find these on planets? That's a bit freaking vague, isn't it? I'm not 100% sure whether it has actually added them into the game or just the expedition. It depends how you interpreticate that sentence. Adrift was supposed to be our next expedition, which it is, but it's ballooned out into an update filled with improvements, new unique gameplay content, and rewards. I wonder if there is a way to get to these abandoned type systems inside of game. Where everything... Oh. I did have a try at that earlier. I went to Galaxy 256. If you didn't see that video, I put a link up there. But maybe I didn't look around enough people. Might have to jump back over and have another little gander. Anyway, we're all... 
We're already two huge updates into the year with the release of Omega, where we invited everyone to try the game for free, and Orbital, which overhauled space stations and introduced long requested feature Starship Customization. We're grateful to have such an incredible community. It's been exciting and fascinating to see you all hunting and salvaging and documenting the hundreds of Starship components available to assemble your dream ships. We have much more planned for 2024. Huh? Brilliant! <laughs> and today we're launching the 13th No Man's Sky Community Expedition Adrift. So this is, it is, it is an expedition update. It, it, I don't think this is carrying over into game. I could be wrong. A drift expedition. Step into an empty universe where you find yourself surrounded by other travellers, yet somehow still alone. The galaxy has been abandoned. There is no life to be seen anywhere. No aliens, no optional space stations. None of the usual networks of shops and buildings. Though everyone will awaken on the desolate, worm-infested planet Lap Zurich. You will not be together in the usual sense. The boundaries behind, between realities has thickened. Communication is consumed by static. Even the usual bustling space anomaly is eerily silent. Oh dear. Okay. Fun times! In this forsaken universe, deprived of support from merchants and traders, self-reliance is more critical than ever. Survive a spread of repair, exploration and combat challenges and meditate upon the darkness of deep space. This sounds like it's going to be challenging, yet also relaxing. What a paradox. I can't freaking wait. Completing this lonely journey will award an exclusive range of collectibles, including a gnarling scutter. He does look quite cute. Companion and a supply of Starship stealth paint, a ghostly frigate and a unique Iron Vulture Starship. It does look freaking lovely. It looks like something out of freaking Matrix or something, doesn't it? Like the Nebuchadnezzar or whatever it's called. Begin the adrift expedition from the expedition terminus aboard the Space Anomaly or from a fresh new save, which may be converted to normal mode later. I guess after you complete it and all that sort of shenanigans. All the exclusive rewards earned from completing the expedition phases may be redeemed across all save games. Courtesy of the Space Anomaly, Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. A drift begins today and will approximately run for seven weeks. Seven weeks. And it says that it's going to start today. Like today, today. Holy fudge, what am I doing doing this video? I should be doing that. I, I, I imagine it's going to be maybe might even be now fudge okay cool yeah a busy bumblebee today adrift expedition rewards here we go there's a load of posters as well i'm gonna have to get on the old translator to work out what these things freaking say hey lovely jubbly stealth paint oh is it actually gonna give us black now i think oh that's just made a lot of people happy as larry that's that's freaking lovely, isn't it? Ah, oh, man. I, I might have to make my ships a little bit darker and a little bit redder. Yes. Oh, that is gnarly. I love it. I like it a lot. Um, but that opens up the door for all sorts of shaders, doesn't it? I would love to have a Nexus shader deck. You know, like it's got all those Tron lines in the Nexus, all the neon lines. I would like that on my ship. I like it to look quite groovy, like a mobile disco. A bit like my room behind me when I haven't got my green screen on. Freaking lovely. Check this out as well. You've got all these scrapyard parts. Hussam! That looks pretty darn freaking gnarly, doesn't it? Yes, make your own ship scrapping yard. It'd be nice if we could get our own ship outfitter for bases. Put it amongst all those parts so it looks like you've made a little junkyard at your base. Ooh, very lovely. And there's a little scuttering companion. It's quite cute. And the ship of the damned. This abandoned frigate with an eerie sort of feel. I don't know whether I like that amongst the other ones that I've got. I think it's just going to look slightly janky and out of place. But... I'll have to look at its stats, won't I? The Iron Vulture, here we go. Transport vast quantities of cargo across the galaxy in this stylish high capacity hauler. So I wonder if it's got more capacity than our usual hauler. Featuring a unique silhouette and industrial metal finish, lovely. 
The ironclad metal finish may be applied to any newly constructed starship in the fabricator. Heck yes! Additionally, the iron vulture can be scrapped. What? And its components utilized in the manufacture of a new hauler. Ooh. But I love that I love everything about this. I don't think I'd want to take it apart. It looks freaking spectacular. Cool. Community research, yes, we've unlocked all of these. And yes, we've unlocked all of those. There's fireworks in there now, people. I did a video on the latest Quicksilver items that come after these decals. They're going to be on pause, though. Those things that I noticed before are going to be on pause until after this expedition. If you want to see what's to come, there's some fireworks and posters and then some more fireworks. Video up there. Oh, the crazy guy. 3D printed pretty much a whole freaking spacesuit for No Man's Sky. Unbelievably cool. Heck yes. That's that's fan on another level, isn't it? That's that's mental. If I could do it, I would, honestly. But um, my 3D printer already prints up to 15 centimetres square. Some lovely bits of artwork. Lovely. And there we go. That's pretty much everything we've got there. There's a load of patch notes there. Bits to do with, oh, base parts to pop in after loading. Okay. Improve the audio for planetary titan worms. Heck yes. Okay, so there's a few in there that are quality of life. I'm seeing a few. Seeing a few in there, so that's pretty nice. Okay, a few improved visuals. Huh, nice. Fixed condition allows markers belonging to the same resource to be managed together when part of the same clump. Hmm, okay. All right, well, there's, there's probably some better ones in there. I mean, I've just sort of skim-readed over a few of them. But there we go, people. That's the patch notes for the latest update from no man's sky and it's um, a drift as it's called very cool expedition 13 adrift there you go people i hope you've liked my reading ability and uh, the whole delivery of said patch notes i'll just scoot over this way so i'm not sort of getting my arm cut off by the side of the screen but there we go people that's pretty much everything i've got for you hopefully you're already enjoying this expedition i didn't realize it was available now as it says there in the patch notes it's probably not you know it, it probably isn't just yet but uh, it might be i'm gonna have to jump over and take a look aren't i people and see if i can start making some um, content on it could even do it live i suppose don't know till next time people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again